So welcome back aliens, this is Narvin Reddy from Therese Color Learnings and in this video we will talk about a new annotation which is request param. So why we require, why we require request param here, uh, so let me run this code now. So while running, uh, okay it will take some time to load, uh, so it's running, it's running, so it will open in Firefox now. So you can see when I when I when I search when I type a number which is five and eight and if I click on the submit query, uh, in this address bar we are sending the name of the request which is add and then we are passing two values right which is t one and t two. So these two values they are request parameter, right? So how to fetch that value in the controller is with the help of request parameter, right? But for that we need to use this request object response object. Uh, instead of that what we can do is while you are sending values here we can directly access those values in the method itself. We can simply say uh, int i and int j so the i value so the t1 value should come to i and t2 value should come to j. That means we don't have to mention these two things. So it should ha happen autom automatically right why, why you have to fetch the value and assign the value. Then how, will, how, how this will happen automatically is with the help of request param attribute or uh, annotation in which you have to mention the name of the field which is t1 so the value of t1 will go inside i and the same thing we have to do for the second one second variable so you have to say at request param and here we'll mention it is t2 right so we have the second object as t2 right and we'll give a space so the t1 value will go into i and t2 value will go to j and those i and j will go for the addition right so let's try to run this code after uh, making some changes so it will open in the firefox now i know what's happening with my tom galaxy we're running slow so if i have 77 and 99 oh that's weird that's 99 and we got the output doesn't matter what the output is what matters is this values are directly going into the variables with the help of at request param annotation Okay, so so there are lots of annotations in Spring MVC. Uh, we have we have talked about the uh, controller annotation. So basically, when you talk about controller, it comes under component. So controller annotation is a part of component annotation. So when you talk about this component annotation, it has three types. We have repository, we have controller, we have uh, service, and controller is one of them. Uh, then we can also provide the configuration with the help of add configuration annotation. We have add bean. And then we have, yeah, we have this thing. So that's it from this uh, Spring MVC video. Uh, we have talked about lots of things, right? So in the in, in the subsequent tutorials, if I'm, if we can we can talk about the different features of uh, Spring. We can include in Spring MVC like integration of Hibernate on the all those stuffs. So that's it. Thanks for watching and do subscribe for other videos.